Good morning, this is Charlie Stocker with Hey Charlie Stocker, Hey Garden Guy Charlie Stocker on Facebook, YouTube, and HeyGardenGuy.com where we answer your questions. We have a new video every day. Uh, we have been concentrating on plant material that I can get you to shake your hands with in getting to know them better and possibly you utilizing them in your landscape where you might not have before. We're taking a little bit different turn now too because we're debunking some ideas that have been very popular in the landscaping and gardening industry which simply are not true. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone in this particular video and the first thing I want to talk about is this plant that's right in front of me and it's called a pyracantha. Uh, also called, the common name is fire thorn. Now let me tell you, it is an evergreen. This particular one is pyracantha mojave. Mojave, which means that it stays a bit smaller than the lalandi, which can get up eight to 10 foot. This will only get about three and a half to four foot. It blooms white in the springtime, but the white is really incidental to the plant. What, when it really takes shape and it really sings its song is when you see the orange berries in the fall. And who doesn't like orange in the fall? It's a warm color, it captures your imagination, and it just draws your attention towards that particular area of the landscape. But know, too, that it will bite you if you get very close to it. So this is a pyracantha, also called firethorn, and the dwarf variety is Mojave. It likes the full sun, anywhere from five to six hours of sun, well-drained soil, and you're gonna have success with this plant. Now, Janie sent me a question on our Hay Garden Guy Charlie Stocker on our Facebook page, and she says, Charlie, tell me what you know about uh, wood fibrous mulch around your landscape. I have always refused to use it because I have always been told that it brings in termites and other undesirable insects. Well, Janie, let me just break that myth in two. It's proven scientifically that termites are not drawn to wood fibrous mulch or harmful insects. They just aren't. It's a good idea, however, if you keep that wood fibrous mulch anywhere from two to three inches away from your foundation. And even so, when you're using those wood fibrous mulches around trees for protection and raising the soil temperatures and keeping from quick fluctuations in temperature around the trees, if you keep that wood fibrous mulch about a half an inch to an inch away from the trunk of the tree, but other than it drawing termites or uh, harmful insects, it does not. So, Janie, rest assured, use your fibrous mulch. This is Charlie Stocker with Hay Garden Guy. Charlie Stocker, have a great day.